In taking a look at the urinary system, basically it all starts with the kidney. Now a lot of people think of the kidney as filtering urine and things like that, but it actually has another function and that's metabolic. If we were to take a look at the cross section of the kidney, which we'll be doing in this dissection, we're going to be seeing that there is a, going to be two distinct regions. The cortex region, the renal cortex, that's going to be responsible for creating, uh, secreting hormones that are there for digestive purposes. The renal medulla, the middle part, is going to be the bulk of the kidney as well as a clear area called the renal pelvis. This is all the renal medulla. So think of it in terms of two regions. They're not structures but actual regions within the kidney. One's for metabolism and one is for excretion itself. Now how the medulla is set up is it actually has a bunch of different uh, cells inside called nephridia. And that's a pretty complex process by which it will filter out the urine, um, but we'll be taking a look at that in more depth in lecture. But what we'll see, hopefully, if the dissection goes well, we're going to be seeing little indications of pyramids, renal pyramids, that will funnel things uh, from the nephridia, funnel, funnel, and funnel, into larger uh, structures called the pyramids, and that'll lead into the calyx. Now, what each calyx does, you should see little holes that will dump into the larger renal pelvis. Now from the renal pelvis, what it's going to do is it's going to uh, put its, its urine secretions or excretions into the ureter itself, working its way down to the urinary bladder. So let's take a look on the real cat, what we're, what we're seeing. We see the distinct kidney shape. We see the suprarenal gland sitting on top. This is for adrenaline and the epinephrine and norepinephrine. But as we take a look at the kidney itself, we can see some basic structures. Obviously we're going to have, because it's an, uh, a, an organ, we're going to be seeing that it has a blood flow supply and everything else. What we do see right here is the ureter. It's commonly mistaken for a blood vessel, but in fact what this does is it goes down to the urinary bladder, which is right here. The urinary bladder is going to be different on the different cats because uh, of the state that it was in when they were euthanized. So the, the ureter is going to be working its way down this way. Now what we do for this dissection is we actually lift out one of the kidneys. It's in a little sac. It's protected in there by a mesentery. We'll lift that out. We'll cut off or shave off that suprarenal gland. We'll cut off the blood supply and open up the capsule. Now, now comes the tricky part. What we need to do, it looks like a kidney bean, and the name of the kidney bean is based off of that. Um, here's the part where the blood supply came in. This is where the pelvis is. I'm going to flip it to the lateral side, and I'm going to make one long, consistent incision. I'm not going to cut it completely in half, but I'm going to cut it enough so that it folds open. And hopefully, if we do this right, we should be able to see some of the structures inside. There's the inside of the kidney. Now, I was talking about some distinct regions. You can see a, a light region. This is the cortex. This is the medulla on the inside. You can actually see where the renal pelvis is. Now, one of the trickier things, and sometimes you need to allow the, the kidney to dry a little bit, but you should start to see some little pyramids. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Kind of alter it a little bit so you can start to see some of the pyramids popping out. Here's one distinct one right here. Right here, as it goes right here. And at the base of each of those, we're going to find a calyx going into the pelvis. Okay, here would be a calyx right here. And that'll all funnel in. In fact, as I separate this out a little bit, you can start to see a little bit more of the structure. As I go into this region right here is the pelvis. The pyramids will funnel their secretions down into the openings of the calyx, or calyces is plural, and it's going to go into the, into the pelvis, which will then lead its way out to the outside, which would be where the ureter goes. Again, that goes down to the urinary bladder, 
and is stored there until urination.